is very exciting. Our next guest is making history as part of NASA's Artemis II, the first crewed mission to the moon since the end of the Apollo space program 50 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. From Neil Armstrong to Buzz Aldrin, there aren't a lot of people who have gotten very close to the lunar surface, but soon we will be able to add this name to the list. Please welcome to the show, Canadian Space Agency astronaut and Artemis II mission specialist, Colonel Jeremy Hansen. <laughs> The first ever Canadian to venture to the moon. This is huge. I mean, I want to say congratulations, but I feel like that's not enough. I feel yeah. like that's not enough. So the rest of your crew is made up of three American astronauts. And not only are you the first Canadian, but this team is also made up of the first person of color, pilot Victor Glover, and also the first female, Christina Hammock Cook, as well. Wow. Phenomenal wow. team. Tell us about the moment you found out yeah. you were going on this mission. It was a call from the president of the Canadian Space Agency, Lisa Campbell, and she just said, Jeremy, we've you know it's time to commit and make a final decision. We'd like you to represent Canada on this mission. And I was just sort of blown away and then uh, excited and then humbled. And then uh, kind of the realization set in. And I was like, yeah. wow. And you know, when you say congratulations to me, like I just it doesn't sit right because it's not about me. Like mm -hmm. the reason a Canadian is going is because of the efforts of literally thousands of Canadians over decades who like had courage, held a vision, they innovated, they put us on the map in human, for human space exploration. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, we have made a contribution that we have now been invited to be the second country in the world to send a human into deep space. And that reflects on Canada, not on me, but it wow. reflects on Amazing. Canada. Such wow. a Canadian yeah. answer, yeah. so humble. Very good. But you did a little happy dance, right? At some point, you did a little happy dance. A little one. Just a little one. All right, so this will be your first visit to space. Let's just give an applause for that. Oh, That's yeah. cute. Yeah. Okay, so have your crew members told you anything about the experience that you weren't expecting? <laughs> so all of my crewmates have flown in space before. So they've, they've been to the International Space Station. Reed and Victor spent about six months there. Christina, almost a year in space on the space station. So a lot of experience. Um, the, the thing we talk about the most is like the human functions, uh, because this is the thing that, <laughs> yeah. you know, a little experience and expertise goes a long way, yeah. so, but we won't get into it here. <laughs> no. So when you were a kid, you grew up around the London, Ontario area. Yeah. I want to know how you became interested mm. and fond of space and what Aww. you would tell that oh. kid now. Yeah. It's really neat when I reflect back on it. I don't remember how old I was, but my mom tells me I was five, but I do remember the image. So I was, I was in Encyclopedia A. Um, I may have to explain it to some in the audience. Those are books we had before the internet. <laughs> and they used to categorize oh, it. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. A. <laughs> yeah, and I was in there for airplanes. And because I loved airplanes, just fascinated with them. And but I happened across Armstrong by accident. And there was a picture of either him or Buzz standing on the moon. But I can still see the, the page of that book burned in my brain. And mm. it like it threw a switch in my, my head and turned my treehouse into a spaceship. And then I just never really looked back. Uh, what would I tell that young that young Canadian? Um, you know, I, I would just say it's important that a mindset matters. So <laughs> You don't know what's gonna happen in your future. You know what you want. You don't know how you're gonna get there. You're gonna face failure. You're gonna have uncertainties, um, but just keep going. Mm. Great advice. Great, message. Great advice. All right, so what's astronaut training like? Is it like what we see on television? I know that's a silly question, but what's it really like? Yeah, it's so diverse. Hard to explain it in like a, a sound bite for you, but mm -hmm. there's some of what you see on television. Yeah. Um, we definitely have like, we have a simulator, so you can imagine us sitting in there and just grinding it out hour after hour, trying like to figure what out. What you're doing in that, in that video? Well, that one's in an airplane. That's more fun. I only did that one or twice now. Okay. Pretty fun. This is spacewalk training. Um, yeah, it's a lot of what you see on TV, but for us, we're the, this is the first time we put humans on this rocket mm -hmm. in this capsule. And so for us, it's a test mission, which means no one's ever trained to do it. There's no like school you go to. We sort of have to make it up with the experts. So wow. we don't go to space alone. I mean, we are the four of us are relying very heavily on a huge team of people. Mm -hmm. We spend a lot of time talking to the experts who really know what's going on, who built the systems, who mm -hmm. coded the software, and we're trying to find the holes in it right now. Like we're trying mm -hmm. to figure out where's the bugs, what have we missed, mm -hmm. and we're working with them to test, 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 test. Hopefully we don't get surprised on our mission. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, it's a tough time for many of us here on Earth. When you're up there, what do you hope to inspire mm -hmm. back down to us? 
yeah, I think all of us look around uh, the world today. We look at the news and we're like, we're not doing, we're not doing well. Mm -hmm. Humanity could do a lot better. And so Artemis II is not going to fix that. But we hope to put a check mark in the win column. You know, we hope to just be an example, a very visual and inspiring example where people can look and say, look, people from around the world have come together to do something that is almost impossible to do. We can do extraordinary things when we set big goals and we bring people together to accomplish them. Let's just try to work together. And the other thing we'll see is we're going to see the earth get small in the mm -hmm. window. We're going to mm -hmm. see the whole globe hanging in the, in the blackness of space in all its glory. We're going to see the moon up close. We're going to go around the backside. We're going to see an earth rise. And we just hope to remind humanity, let's just work together. Oh, I yeah. love that. Great message to end on. Jeremy, once again, congratulations. It's an honor to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yes, and we wish you and the Artemis II team all the best on this very exciting mission. All the best. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.